Hey guys, welcome back to my video. I know two videos in one week. Crazy for me. So we're going into the Meron makeup palette. I'm using a Tarte eyeliner angled brush to paint the skull on my face. I'm just going to make those cheekbone lines that go down to teeth. And we're going to make a line on our lips and just kind of outline everything. So I'm outlining the teeth and just where they will be on my face. So I was not going to do another one, but I just felt like I gotta put one more in there. Like, why not? I feel like I don't really take advantage of Halloween, and I feel like I really should. You know what I mean? Because I love it so much, so why not just take advantage with videos and funness? This did take a long time. This is a very meticulous look, but I absolutely love the way it came out. I'm just going to paint underneath the cheekbone, like towards the jawline. And you can use a reference picture. I had a reference picture open just like to see what a skull looked like. Just, I mean, I know what a skull looks like, but just to see like, you know, where to really put those lines. And you can also just feel the bones in your face. I'm gonna start painting a circle around the eye. Trying to go past the eyebrow as much as I can, but I kind of wanted it to stay where those bones are. I'm just going to paint that out, trying to make them as even as possible. And don't worry about it being messy, like, really, you can always go back and fix it later. I'm really just outlining everything right now. And then I'm just filling it in. This brush is so old. I think it's like from BH maybe. I don't even know to be honest. But I've had this brush for such a long time. So I'm just going to fill this in. I didn't put a primer on my eyes. I actually recommend putting a primer on. Just because you don't want the paint to crease. So I'm putting on Buxom Eyeliner in Call Me. This is their black liner. And... I actually haven't put on eyeliner in the inside of my eyes in like a super super long time so that was kind of fun to do. I'm actually allergic to a ton of gel like pencil liners so it kind of stinks. But um, now I'm just going to fill this cheekbone in or under cheekbone in. And at one point, I really felt like a panda, especially with my little buns. But, you know, we made it look like a skull, okay? Like, we really did. So I wasn't too worried. I kind of was worried, like, through half of it. But it was fine. So I'm just filling that in. And then we're just going to go with what in with white face paint. And I'm just going to paint that all over. Wherever you see skin, I'm putting white, except for my ears. I'm actually going to end up painting my ears black. And again, like, this is your base for what the glitter is going to go on top of. So, just paint that whole face. I'm using a Makeup Addiction, uh, I think this is a eyeshadow brush, just like a shader brush. I'm just going to, and this is actually good to clean up around the eyes, too. This is kind of where I felt like a panda. <laughs> because I got the white and I just, I did, I felt like a freaking panda, but it's okay. So now we're just going to fill the teeth in. And it's fine if you go over the black like, like I am. I'm really just outlining everything. I always fix and detail everything after everything is filled in. And I'm leaving a little space open for the nose because we want to put some, like a hole basically in the nose. I'm just going to bring that all the way down to the chin area and just stop there and then we'll do the neck later on. So I wanted to put some dents in my skull. So I'm going to start off with a dark black area. You can do a little squiggle, you could do a circle, a half moon, whatever you feel like. And I'm just, I actually just filled it in. And then I do go over it with some white to kind of give it a little dimension. Doing this again, I probably would have just did the black line and then just put the white and blended the black out. But, you know, 
trial and error, if you know what I'm saying. So if I do this again, I will know that. Now I'm just painting the jawline white and just bringing that face to a close pretty much. But now you can really see like the skull face on the face. I feel like with everything kind of painted. And I'm just fixing the edges here. And then we're going to do our little skull nose. Making like little mountain peaks at the <laughs> bridge of the nose. Or little almost like heartbeat lines. And then going down the sides. Don't go all the way down like towards the face. You kind of want to keep it raised. I'm just filling that in. I'm bringing it down to the nose area or nostril area. I'm using this glitter from Electra Cosmetics. I had gotten it in IMAX and yeah. So we're putting that all over the face. And this is going to give your skull a super textured look along with a glittery look. Um, I did notice that the paint was still super wet, so the white kind of mixed with the paint, which was fine. It kind of, I liked the way it came out with texture. And then I just added more glitter to it later on when it dried. I'm also putting this glitter in my hair, and I love the way this came out. It took me forever to get glitter out of my hair. I Everywhere I walk in my house, there's glitter, but, um... I just love the way this came out and I kind of added a little white paint too in the center of the part just to kind of, you know, really, really texturize it and kind of make it look ghostly and just super cute. So I'm using these AB rhinestones. My mom had them laying around. You can get them at Michael's. Um, if you really want the Swarovski ones, these are the Swarovski ones. Um, I think I ordered them online. So I'm just using Duo Glue and a tweezer from Sigma and we're just putting the small ones in the middle teeth and then on the outer we're going to put the big ones closest to the lip and then as we move up i'm actually going to put the bigger ones on top and you will see here i'm using a little um point of q-tip to put the glue down first Trust me, this is an easier process than doing, you know, the glue and then this and then the glue and then the rhinestone and then the glue and then the rhinestone. Believe me, this was such a meticulous process and I was getting frustrated because there were so many rhinestones falling on the floor. For these middle two bottom teeth, I did two big rhinestones and then I put three rhinestones on all of the other teeth. I put two underneath those two big ones and then just filled all of that space in on the teeth. I'm just going to detail the mouth a little more with some cap on D liner. And I show you just like exactly what I'm doing again around the eyes. I'm just using the small ABs just because it's a lot easier and I felt like I didn't have enough big ones. So why not use the small ones? Give a little bit more detail. It takes a little bit more time, but it's okay. So I'm just putting that all around the eye doing the same thing to the other side using that q-tip that q-tip saved my life honestly it's like as soon as I thought of that I was like brilliant even though it's like something pretty simple <laughs> I was just so excited to make something like this super not super easy but somewhat easier see now because the glue I mean the paint dried a little bit more I'm putting a little bit more glitter on the face and then I'm going to start detailing the neck. We're just going to do an outline for the bones. I'm not doing anything crazy crazy just to kind of fill that white space or blank space whatever you'd like to call it. So we're just going to do like the neck bones and paint the back sides of the neck so it kind of just looks like especially in the dark this stuff looks so cool. And then we're going to go down to like a collarbone area, just paint black around it. And I'm using that Tarte base brush that I used in my last tutorial. Because it's synthetic, it just made everything super easy. And it was just super easy to clean. I'm going to go in with the white now and bring that down the neck and just paint 
all of the areas where I want the bone to show. Now, again, if you want to do, my dog just came in and that's why the door opened. Um, if you want to put the glitter, I would suggest waiting for the paint to dry just so you can really get the full effect of the glitter. This glitter wasn't my favorite, but I did love the colors and the stars and the pigment in it. So that is why I picked it. I probably would pick um, a lemon head glitter if I had like to go out that night or whatever, just because it stays a lot better. This glitter stayed okay. It wasn't that great um, just because just maybe I just put too many layers, but it did flake a lot. <laughs> so I would probably choose a lemon head gel glitter over this one, but you know. I did like the way this looked and it kind of helped with the removing process I'll say that so I'm just putting the glitter on the bones as well and that is it you guys I hope you've enjoyed this rhinestone glitter skull and I hope you guys have a really really happy Halloween like this video if you enjoyed it let me know the comments that you have below and yeah subscribe if you haven't already I will see you guys in my next video. Also, I want to know, you know, what you guys want to see next because now it's just going to be all fall and holiday looks. Woo! So excited for that. Look how cool this looks in the dark. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Yeah,